Look, I know this isn't the best place to be playing golf, but it works, okay? So recently I got myself the Garmin Approach R10. It's a flight monitor that captures the trajectory of a golf ball after you've hit it. It uses radio waves and all these other fancy algorithms and whatnot to capture the flight of the golf ball after you've hit it. And today we're gonna use that Garmin to capture a little bit of gameplay. We're gonna play a game of virtual golf. So the golf course that we're playing today is called Beatles Lake. It's over in England. It was suggested by one of our followers to play that course. If you'd like to suggest the next course that we play, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. A couple of disclosures before we get started. I am not a good golfer, number one. Uh, so don't expect this to be some substantial golf play, because it's not. Number two, I only have so much room in my garage, so I cannot use a driver because of the limited space. The highest we can go is probably a five iron. So a lot of these distances aren't going to be reached because of, you know, limited space. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's get to the gameplay. So here we go. We've got the five iron. Let's see if we can get some distance on this. We're going for 215 yards. And hopefully, we don't hit that tree, because that would be a bad day. Take this one nice and easy right off the tee here. Oh, we got the tree. Well, I've definitely seen worse shots, but I've also seen better shots. So, obviously the five iron's not gonna play very nice for us today. Uh, everyone went about 140 yards or something like that. We're in the rough, so we're losing a 10% power. That's one of the things it does when you uh, when you jump into the, the green or in the grass here. So we're gonna downsize to an eight. Ah, we're gonna downsize to a six and really get after it. And see what we can do. Ooh, top the tree. Still in the rough. That wasn't a bad shot. It's still doing these swings a little cold, so it is what it is. But uh, we have 106 yards to the pin. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna downsize one more. I think I'm gonna downsize to a nine, because I think a nine iron, we can definitely get to that distance. I also forgot the wind was blowing a bit. So we're gonna aim for the bunker. Hopefully that puts us right on the green. I didn't adjust my last shot, so that's on me. That looked pretty solid. Ooh! Too solid, we overshot the green. Feels like the muscles are starting to warm up a little bit. We're starting to get a little loose, which is good. 35 yards. Let's see what we can do about this. We're just gonna do like a, we're gonna keep the nine. I'm gonna do like a real solid chip and see what that does. Well, that was definitely a solid chip. <laughs> the thing that's kind of difficult about this app is, though it does the job well, I feel like some of the some of the measurements and some of the algorithms aren't as as accurate as some of the other simulators. Not that it's a bad thing; it's just something I have to readjust for because I've been playing a lot of E6 recently. So going from E6 to this, slight difference in the swing uh, power that it registers. 20 yards, nice little chip in, here we go. Still with the nine. Apparently I can't register this. We're gonna have a whole lot of making up to do if we keep going back and forth around the green like this. So the 10% power reduction is actually not as much as a reduction as I thought it was going to be, so. Look, we're on the green. I think that's a two putt, because it gives us an auto putt. It is. Two putt, plus two stroke, uh, plus four on that one. Quadruple bogey. Not a good way to start the hole. Let's see if we can do something a little bit better on hole two. Hole two is a par four, 423 yards. Again, can't use the driver, so we're gonna use our trusty five iron to try to get us down the fairway. 
It looks like the wind blowing just behind us to the left hand side, so we're gonna aim accordingly to adjust for that. We're already four over par, which is not a good way to start the hole. Let's see if we can get that down a little bit here. Oh, so the five iron's not being as trusty as what I want it to be. So we're gonna try the six, we're in the rough a little bit, but I think we can save this one. Hopefully, we'll see. Fairly straight shot for 160, I think we can take that. Take a nine iron, we'll bump it in for the last 120 of it. I changed my mind, we're actually gonna use a wedge. I think if I do the nine, we're gonna get too much of it, so I'm gonna use the pitching wedge. Let's see if we can get it up on the green here. Not quite enough, we're in the rough, but I think I can save this. Hit that shot a little thin, so 49 yards, pitching wedge. We're just gonna do a nice little, uh, nice little chip in here. Not quite the distance I wanted, but we're only 20 yards away, so little baby duggers, and we should get in the hole. Take that for a two putt. So the last hole wasn't as good as what I wanted it to be, but that's okay. This is 150 yards. I'm gonna stick with our pitching wedge because I think that I can get, uh, I think I can get all of this, so we can get it, especially with the wind being kind of at our back to the right side. I'm gonna aim it to the left a little bit, and hopefully we get on the green. 150 with the pitching wedge. Here we go. Might be a little bold. Ooh. Just snuck onto the green. That'll be a two putt for par, I think. Starting to get a little, uh, a little warmed up here, so should be good. Next hole is the fourth hole. It's a par four. 422 yards. I don't think I'm gonna play with the five iron because the last one we didn't get it very well. So I think I'm gonna stick with the six. We're just gonna put some real big doubles on it to see if we can get it down the fairway. We're positioned for 207 yards. I'm not gonna get that with the six, but if any luck, we'll be on the fairway. Tell you what, we got a 203 with the six, so I'll take that, and we're on the fairway. So I'm gonna keep the six iron, we're gonna bash her again. I'm gonna aim a little bit more to the left just because I aimed to the left on the last one and we just barely caught her on the uh, on the fairway. So I'm gonna overcompensate to the left. Hopefully we can do it right in the middle for a nice little chip shot to the end. On the fairway for 160, we'll take it. 65 yards, wind's coming to our right. Uh, I'm gonna use a pitching wedge. We're gonna try to do like a three quarter swing, maybe. Try to get it right on the green here. Oh no. I read it. Surprisingly, we didn't go as, as crazy as what I thought we were going to. So this is okay, because we're only 23 yards. There's a nice little bump in, keeping the pitching wedge. Ooh, just missed that inner circle. We got it with a two stroke, which I think that puts us one over. Oh, two over, double bogey. If we would have got that, uh, that pitching wedge a little further down the road, I think it would have been good for us. Hole five, par four, 376 yards. I'm gonna try the five iron one more time and see if it's gonna play nicely. It might not, but we'll see. Nope. As soon as I pulled the trigger on that one, I knew, I felt, I topped it. I didn't get under it at all. That was a garbage, garbage swim. But you know what? We're gutsy. We're gonna try it again. I'm bound and determined to figure out this five iron. That one felt better. 
160 out of the rough, not horrible bad. Got 106 yards left. 106 yards left is about, probably about a three quarter swing of a pitching lunge. So we're gonna try that. Ooh, better adjust because of the wind. Aiming for that bumper again. Oh, ooh, she's gonna sneak out. Well, I got everybody that one for 140, so there's that. 43 yards, uh, back into the wind. Still using the pitching. There's Chipper right in there. Oh, lies. That was definitely more than 20 yards. Uh, it might not have been, but it, it, it felt more than 20. Here we go. Oh, for the two putt. Triple bogey. Uh, look, I there was a disclaimer on the beginning of this video saying that I wasn't good at this game. I am not a good golfer. All right, so look, if you're still here, that's on you. That, that, look, it's not, you know what I mean? Look, whatever. All right, 198 yards. Let's see if this five iron wants to play. I know we can get the distance. Let's do it, dude. Come on! Oh. Can anybody see that tree there? I didn't see that tree. They like populated in as soon as I took the swing. It had to. Aim towards the tree a little bit more here. We're gonna use our uh, not so trusty five iron. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be a good day, we're golfing. Everything's fine. Oh, she's good. It's on the fairway. It's on the fairway, that's all that matters. It's on the fairway. It's in the play zone, dude. We are still 188 yards away. I'm going for it. The five has been good this last couple of, last couple, well, last couple shots. See if she can do it again. Come on, baby. Give me that 200. Watch, this will be the one I get all of it and it'll go 220. Watch, you just wait. I'm glad I didn't get 220 out of it. I mean, I didn't want to get 220 anyway. Who needs 220? Oh, 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 oh. I was almost in the water. Like, by this, like, look. It, like, rolled and stopped. 77 yards. 77 yards, we're in the rough. Pitching wise will do about 140. Let's take it about half duggas. Half duggas here. Come on, come on. Oh, you piece of crap tree. Oh, okay. We're on the green, it's a two putt. I ain't overshot it. Honestly, a bogey is the best goal we've had. So we'll take it, all right? You gotta take the wins when you can. 11 mile an hour wind right at our back. Right at our back. We should be, should be good. Right? We're gonna, we're gonna really get this one. It's gonna rock it. It's gonna rock it. Watch me. Here it goes. Don't watch me. Don't watch me. Don't watch. Don't watch. Don't watch. Everything's bad. Oh, what did I do? Hit a bird? What happened? I had to hit a bird. I heard some weird things. It wasn't my fault. All right. Oof. 167? No, no, no. 167 for our shot. We're still 200. So 279 yards. No, 294 from the pin. 167 is our shot. 195 out of the row with the five iron. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. We'll be fine. I don't think I can hit it far enough to, to carry over that water, but I'm not gonna hit it far enough to get in the water either. I'm gonna say that and then we're gonna go right in the drink. You watch. Stop. Stop. 160 is good. 160 is good. We're 130 from the pin. It's a nice, comfortable, uh, comfortable pitching wedge. 
We're good. We're good. And like the wins are back. We got this. We got this. Pitching wedge for the save. And here we go. Oh, don't. Don't tell me. Oh, jeez. Right we're right in the water here. Uh, he put on his waders. He wanted to go for a nice little swim there. Get a little toasty. Oh, he went right in the water there. Idiot. 98 the fan. All you gotta do is hit the ball. Like, I don't know, you know what I mean? If you hit the ball, the ball usually goes where you want it to go, for the most part. Hey! What a kind of step. Oh, God, slow down. Slow down! You know, at this rate, I might as well just use the pitching wedge right off the key box because I get better distance with the, the pitching wedge than I do the five iron. 22 yards. Pump! Oh, get in there for one. Oh, almost a one putt. Took two. What is that, quadruple bogey? Sure is. Good counting there, guy. Math. We're gonna shoot for 170. We got the old sixer, which, I mean, the sixer might be a little much for this situation. I'm hoping not. We got a 10 mile an hour win. So that might give us, you know, a yard of distance. We'll see. Closest to the pin. 188, six iron. Let's see if we can get it in, dude. Oh, not like that we can't. What are you doing? What are you doing? You have one, one shot. One opportunity. Is everything you ever wanted. And you threw it in the f***ing tank. Pitching wedge, pitching wedge. Gonna make a hole in one. That was actually a much better shot than I anticipated. Pull the bogey! All right, so we've learned that the five iron is garbage, so we're gonna play with the sixer. See if we can get, uh, you know, the same distance out of a six that we would get with a five. You know, try to get us a little close to the hole or whatever. Do the thing, do the thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn? I thought it was going left. I don't want any fun, but I'm in the trees. They're giving me a drop because I'm so far in the trees, apparently. Can we, can we get around that tree? I'll bet we can go through these trees here. Look at this. 149 through the trees, right? Let's aim just a bit more this way, just so we clear the brushes. 10 miles an hour into the wind. Let's see if we can't. Uh, let's see if we can't get those wicked awesome stingers. That's a. It's a tough one to do. So let's see if we can't get it. Keep her low. Get it on the fairway here. Not like that. Hey, look, we're past the trees, but I still want to try that stinger. So let's just let's just see what we can do here. Oh, that's definitely a stinger. It's low. I call it a stinger, but it was actually just a horrible shot. 187 to the pin. We got all of that one. Oh, so much so we're in the freaking rough again. Look, I'll tell you what, if there were a sport where you had to stay in the thick grass, I would be winning that one. Just saying, dude. Just saying. Top that one. Ooh, that's a three putt. That's a three putt. That's bad. Oh no. Come on, six iron, come on. You gotta help me on this one. I need a little something. I need a little, just a little bit. All right, I'm not, I'm not asking for a whole lot more. Just, just go down the hole, right? Just go where you go. That felt pretty good. That's good, that one was pretty good. That was a good shot. All right, look at that. 193, I'll take 193. All right, 164. Let's go down a little. Tell you what, just because I don't, I don't know what my distances are just yet, I went down three clubs, then nine iron. Let's see what happens. 
I topped it. 136 yards. We're keeping the nine. I take that back. I meant to say 136 yards. We're using the uh, the old pitching wedge here. Jeez, oh my dude. Tell me out. Tell me out just a little bit. Please. 81 yards. Pitching wedge gonna save the day, bud. Sixty-two yards, pitching wedge is fired now. Thirty-five, no, eighteen yards. Baby Douglas, baby Douglas, come on, baby Douglas, baby Douglas. Here we go, baby, 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 baby Douglas. Oh, garbage. Two more strokes for quadruple bogey. <laughs> All right, I think we can carry 190 with the six. Let's see what we can do here. What? I barely carried 50. That was better. Look, we're back up on the fairway. 192, I don't think I can carry that, but I think we can get it close to the fairway anyway. Oh, that's probably the best shot of the whole game! 196? Did we save that? Is that three? No, oh, it's two putt. That's still a bogey. Oh, that's the best one we had! All right, we're gonna try the five again, just to see if we can get a little bit more distance on this bad boy. Nope. That doesn't mean we're not gonna try again. We're gonna get this five, we got it. We just got it. That was pretty good, but uh, not where we wanted to go. 51. David Douglas. I'm gonna try to keep this one kind of low. Ooh, not quite. 20 yards, here we go. A little less than 20 yards. Triple. This was a 142. I think this is a full pitching wedge. Hopefully. I mean, I've been wrong before. Well, it would have been a full pitching wedge had I not swung it so far to the left. 36 yards. Ah! Oh. 13 yards. Baby Douglas, baby Douglas. Ooh, get in there. Ooh. The other hard thing about the Garmin is it registers chipping, but if it's not a certain speed, it, it, it's hard to see it. So for some reason, I can't figure out the five iron, so we're just gonna use a six and we're just gonna blast it and see what happens. Oh no! I mean, we blasted it. We blasted it. We're gonna go with a nine iron on this one. Oh! Let's try the nine again. That was a. Uh, I don't know. I tempo. Everything was wrong about that. 99 yards in the rough. To the left, we're going way left. Why? I can see it going to the left. I aimed up in my angle plane, go for the 37 yards. We'll take it. 
Jeez, so mighty, I'm the triple bogey captain. I want everybody to know that playing on this little simulator is actually more difficult than what it is playing in real life. The five was decent to us, but we're in the rough. And under a tree, so that's cool. We're gonna try an eight to get out of this. I think I need to keep it low. There we go. Oh, one side of the tree is the other. 140. Pitch and wedge for the hero club. He's the club that gets us out of all the trouble. Sometimes, once your hooks for the left, 50 yards, baby Douglas. Going for the chipping. Oh, baby, come on. <gasps> okay, I need to learn that that's a, that's a 20 chip, not like a 50 chip. Now the triple bogey! This game, the higher the number, the better the gamer, right? Is that like history high number, right? Come on, five. Let's go, five iron. Help me get some distance to the green. I need that distance, please. I didn't get it. I hit fat. I think I have to hit the five more like a driver because it's longer. Let me try that and see what happens. I aim for two and I don't get it. It's gonna be a bad day. So, try to hit this like a driver. Because it is a little longer club, maybe that's what I'm missing. I mean, it helped a little. Not as much as what I wanted, though. 146, that's pretty comfortable, uh, pretty comfortable pitching wedge. As long as I hit the pitching wedge. What's our wing doing? All right, here we go. <coughs> 140 pitching wedge. We got this one. This is an easy one. Easy money here. Easy money. Too, too much, uh, too much height. 70. Sorry, thank you. Oh, of course. 16. 16. Baby Douglas. Baby, baby Douglas. Oh, come on. Oh! I'll take a one putt. After that little uh, mishap, one putt's not bad. We'll take a one putt. 20 mile an hour wind. The five iron hates us. Got 190 to go. Try with the six. Oh no! It felt a little fat when I hit it, unfortunately. Yep. Big dog on campus! Big dog on campus! Come on! Alright, here we go. That one felt good. Was it good? Indeed it was! It rolled off into the rough. Best shot we've had in the rough. It's fine. 20 mile an hour win. If I can get that last little bit that I had on the last one, then maybe we'll be able to get where we're going with the 20 mile an hour win. We're gonna try it. 197 to the pin. Should be good. Should be good. Let's try it. The GoPro died. The GoPro died, so if it looks a little funky, that's what happened. <laughs> 42 yards. 42 yards. Here we go. Mmm. Aim a little left of the pin, or the right of the pin here. 42 is not going to be enough for like the wing to catch it a lot, but... 42, here we go. Oh no. 
That was bad. There you go, that was bad. Ooh, 27. We can do 27s. Nice little chips here. Way up. Good. Up and sit! For a one putt! Take a bogey. We'll take a bogey. We got 20 miles an hour into the wind. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna try the five. We try the five again. We're gonna try to flight this under the wind. Oh, we went left. Way left. As soon as it left the ground, I knew. We're in the trees. I don't think I'm good enough at doing a stinger to keep her on the branches. We're gonna try it anyway. Oh, we kept running the branches. We're just, I think we're just gonna go for this. We're just gonna see what happens. I mean, it's the last hole at this point. It's pretty much lost. So, let's try for uh, another stinger here. No help, it's only going 87 yards. Oof, wouldn't you like to see this shot go right through the trees? Not gonna happen swinging like that. I'm convinced we can do this. I'm convinced. We might uh, we might reach the stroke limit, but that's okay. <laughs> I keep trying to make a shot that I'm not good at making. So, 40 yards, nice little uh, bump onto the green here. See what happens, we're going for Happy Gilmer. <laughs> Hit a crow or something, I don't know. In the middle of the trees, I don't want to tell you. I was on the course, on my vault, on my vault. 21 yards. I haven't changed my club in seven swings. So, 21 yards, nice little, uh, bam. That's what I'm talking about. I'll take it. For 29. No. And a plus six. I don't know how that works. Oh, I've reached the stroke limit. So uh, 119 is pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, it's uh, it's 19 more than 100%. So it's pretty good. You ask me. Pretty good stuff. I don't know. Pretty good. Look, guys, honestly, I'm trying to get my golf into shape. I know that I'm horrible at this golfing thing. I figured it'd be a cool opportunity for you guys to see me play a course that I've never played before, and the Garmin gives me that opportunity thanks to their little built-in app. I know I'm garbage at golf. I'm okay with that. I had fun anyway. Hope you guys had some laughs and enjoyed the show. If you guys want to see me play another course, put it in the comments below. I'm open to all of them. Uh, there's more than 140,000 golf courses that I can choose from, so if you'd like to see me play one, put it in the comments. Till next time, thanks for uh, playing along.